Uh, we have got Dr. Marjorie Dixon here because we're going to be talking about something. Thank you for coming, Marjorie. And Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Happy we, birthday. Oh, thank you. Just Same saying. to you. you. It's Capricorn season, baby. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be talking about something a lot of our viewers uh, are talking about, and, and it's pretty prevalent. And I, don't, I think the discussion doesn't happen enough. It's about miscarriage. I completely agree. We threw, um, you know, an ask out there to viewers to, to talk to us a little bit about their experiences. My goodness, so many stories. So I'm just going to start before we get into the what is it and why does it happen. I'm going to start with Anne's story, who became pregnant in 2006, obviously overjoyed. It was an amazing time. And then she finds out there's cramping, there's bleeding. She goes to the hospital. She finds out she's miscarried the baby. A few years go by. She can't get pregnant again. Um, she did some fertility testing, and then she did get pregnant again in 2010 with twins and lost them. So that idea of going in to check the heartbeat and there's no heartbeat and it's just, it's crushing. So she says, I need counseling to get over the losses even though I never met my babies, her three babies. They decided to adopt, finally brought home a son three years later, then got miraculously pregnant again and was frightened mm -hmm. they were gonna lose mm -hmm. this one, yeah. but full term healthy baby boy, she still grieves for her three babies though. Mm -hmm. It's such an emotional toll, um, and so many women go through it. This is Miranda. She says, thank you so much for talking about it. It's not talked about enough. Uh, my husband and I had one miscarriage, and luckily for me, it happened at work. She told a coworker, and her coworker told her to go to the hospital right away and get this checked out, and it was, in fact, a miscarriage. But now she finds herself in a situation where she has a hard time feeling happy, happy for her younger sister, um, who's having her first baby because she hasn't been able to, to have this and she hasn't really fully recovered from it. So for these reasons and for these stories, we want to talk about what is going on and to talk about the emotional toll that's happening. So what is a miscarriage? What is happening? So I, I think, and thank you for wanting to talk about this because I, I know it is something that is still interestingly taboo, even though it is very frequent. Right. So a miscarriage is when someone gets pregnant, even if early pregnant, they just missed a period, mm -hmm. and they have positive pregnancy test, and then it goes away. Or they have a later pregnancy test with a heartbeat and everything, and then they bleed and miscarry. It's really the loss of a pregnancy mm -hmm. before 20 weeks, so before 20 weeks of gestation. That's the okay. official medical, or a loss of a pregnancy that's less than 500 grams. So if you're thinking medically, that's right. the medical definition. And just so that patients are also aware and individuals are also aware, when we say miscarriage, in the medical realm, we also call it spontaneous abortion. So if you go to a hospital or you see a caregiver, don't be alarmed at the fact that they said, oh, this is a spontaneous abortion, you'd be like, no, I, I wanted this baby. That's not what they're saying. It's just the medical definition. So it's important for people to know it's so frequent that there's a medical definition for it. Mm -hmm. And we, as medical practitioners, are very accustomed to see it because it's not as infrequent as people think. Right. It is very common. You don't realize it until you start talking about it uh, with other people. Absolutely. I miscarried between my two, between Eva and Sydney, and then when I started talking to girlfriends, I found out so many of them so did too. Many, yeah. And it's tough to cope with and it's tough to figure out what's going on and, and, and in a lot of ways you tend to blame yourself. You're like, what did I do wrong? How did my body fail me? Like, what's going on? Yeah, and I think that's what's so important about this discussion because not only are we going to talk about what it is and yeah. how frequent it is, but it'll allow people to understand that, you know, it's nothing that you could have done differently. More often than not, most often, mm -hmm. it's a cause that we can't explain. Right. Yeah. Another viewer now, this is Bethany. She says, I had two miscarriages between my first and second sons. There were so many questions and feelings you don't even realize you have. She felt failure as a woman and as a wife. Um, she felt it was her fault, but once she opened up and told her co-workers what happened, she was amazed at how many of the women she worked with had miscarriages. So I want to talk a little bit about frequency and prevalence of this. Right, so much more frequent than people expect. They um, I mean, are... In, in our workplaces, if women would actually talk about it, there's some kind of shame and guilt associated with it, but if mm -hmm. we actually banded together and talked about it, I think that we would gain strength in knowing the actual percentage is between 8 and 20 percent of all pregnancies. And in medicine, where we're looking at how can we make sure that we're picking up all of these, they did a, a landmark study in fertility field where they looked at all women who were having periods and who were having unprotected intercourse, who could potentially be pregnant and just check their urine for a pregnancy test every single day in the second half of their cycles. And in that group of women, before it came to light that they were pregnant, before it was clinically diagnosed, between 30 and 50% of them had positive pregnancy tests. 
Mm -hmm. So even when people are just missing a period or they don't even know their period's a couple days late, they might not have known that they could have had an early, what we call a chemical pregnancy. Right. So it is very common right. that this happens. It's just because now we're planning pregnancies and people are excited to talk about their pregnancies and we have online forums and there's all these things on television and we're really flooded with these images about babies and, and the idyllic idea. We tend to forget to to help educate women and empower women to understand that, you know, it's fairly common. Yeah. And it's very normal for you to experience a miscarriage. And and there are risk factors. So when people talk about I've had a miscarriage or I've had a second miscarriage, there are a few increased risks for you to have a miscarriage. So one of them is the main reason why we're seeing so many more is, is we are having babies older. Yeah. There's been a paradigm shift. Women are getting educated. We're not partnering with the first person that we meet. Mm -hmm. We actually wait to meet someone that's kind of nice and that we decide to spend our life with and then start trying to have children. Or we get socioeconomically stable, we want to have a good job, we want to travel, we educate ourselves. So as m women age, we are more likely to have miscarriage. And actually the number one reason why miscarriages happen more is advancing maternal age. Okay. And advanced maternal age is 35. I know. I know. I remember when they told me that when I went and I was pregnant at 35, they're like, so now you're high risk. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah. This you're is just my second age. baby. Like advanced maternal age. But okay. That's one reason. And but that's, smoking, you mentioned, is a big one. Smoking is also a risk factor. Yeah. So the study, so I always go to medical studies in the literature, but the studies show that smoking more than 10 cigarettes a day mm -hmm. over a period of time puts you at greater risk of miscarriage. While you're pregnant? Uh, smoking, smoking while you're in pregnant. General. And then smoking, smoking while general. you're pregnant. While you're pregnant. People smoke while they're pregnant, so, though you right. should not do that. No, 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 people no. People no. do smoke do while that. they're pregnant, and there's an increased risk of miscarriage. So some, but when, sometimes we reconcile, well, you know, back in the day, women smoked and they had babies and they were fine. Well, we know that studies have shown definitively yeah. that smoking cigarettes does impact your ability to maintain pregnancy. Right. 